Hi there. Hey, I'm uh, going to walk through some editing steps on the Washington Truck Dispatch website. This website is the same theme as Pacific Freight, so it all should be pretty much the same except for, oops, that's the old one, opening up the pictures. So first of all, Washington Truck Dispatch has the Graham Trucking logo. If you're here at the dashboard, okay, you've already logged in. Down here on the bottom left sidebar, uh, Q code, let's call it code options. I'm going to logo. And this is where you can add in a new logo. The current logo, here, if we right click on that, you could save the image and check what the image size is. Or we can go to the media folder and see if it's in here and we can take a peek. Okay, so here's the logo that's up there in the header. It is 200 by 102. If you have a logo that you want to use for Washington truck, then we can use that size. I'm trying to remember what Washington truck has right now, I think. Okay, so if you want to shrink this down with a photo editor that you have on your computer, you can go ahead and do that. If you need some help doing that, just let me know and I can crop it and reduce it. Okay, so that's how to change the logo. Now, the content on the pages, I'm just going to go to the About page. Over here on the left sidebar, go to Pages. And there's a lot of pages in here already that give you options for different types of setup. But for now, we're going to just go to the About page that you can see on the site. And then click Edit. Okay, this is done in just a regular text editing field with a picture of Bob, Rob, excuse me. So obviously Washington Truck is going to have different content. You can edit straight into this text field. For example, I'm just going to delete that, all of it. Um, so you can create your content in here or create it in a Word doc and then paste it in. Um, okay, company that has trucks. I'm going to go grab some other filler text and paste it in and show you some editing. So just hang on, hang on for a second. So say you've got content and you're going to paste it in. And then maybe you want to have some bullet points. So you can create those. I'll highlight these four lines and you can go to bulleted list, numbered list. You can indent. Okay, so there's a bulleted list. If you want to put in a picture, select this Add Media, and you can add it from the Media Library, which right now it's got pictures you don't want. If you've got something on your computer in a folder, you're going to select a file, and <sighs> let's um, just find something. Okay, Almond Roca. Okay, so I have just put in a picture. This picture is, check out over here on the bottom right, the picture is 230 by 219. So that's a good size. If you end up with a giant picture, this area here will let you change the image size. Right here you can change the alignment. After you've got the picture selected, click Insert into Page. Okay, there we go. If you wanted to change the size here, you could. You can select it and then drag that arrow up and down. You can also edit with this little pencil if you wanted to change it to the right side. 
you can do that. Okay? So that is adding text, adding a picture. If you want to make some of your text larger, the default is this paragraph size. Uh, H heading one two three four. Just play around and see what you like. Um, that is your heading two size. If you want to change the color, you go in here. You can change your color. If you have a specific color code down here in custom, you can find a color here. Or if you know your specific code which if you if you need to do something like that just give me a call you can put in a code here um, let's see I know that that oh sorry that would be white okay so it's um it's a six digit code combination of letters and numbers okay there we've got a custom color text and a picture. I'm going to show you one more thing is if you wanted to put in a link um, to another website so maybe let's just say um, you're going to put in a link to Washington. So you'll select that URL go back to your content page. Let's just say this is going to be Oops, I want to put this uh, here. Washington Truck Dispatch. Okay, so you highlight that text, select this link icon, paste in your URL. If you want to open that in a new tab, you would select that um, or not, whatever you want, and then add your link. And by default, it may or may not underline on the on the page. So you can check that or just say, you know, I want to make sure I underlined it. So I've got text, a link, a picture, large font, special color. And then go over here and make sure you update your content that you've added. And then we'll go over to the About Us page. And I'm going to refresh up here and see what we've got. Okay? So we've got this large text. We've got your picture. We've got this link here. So the link turns to green by default. If you want to change that, let me know. I can have the developers change it so that the links show up in whatever color you want. And that is how to do the basic editing on any of these pages. That goes for services, I think there's some content on employment and I'm not sure what you want on the contact page. That's a little different. So that's the end of this video. I hope it helps. Call me.